Hello everyone. Uh, welcome back. Today we're going. Today we are going to solve problem A from the weekly contest three eighty one. So first, let's understand the problem. So I felt this problem. Uh, usually, this type of problems we can see in code forces, but from the past two three contest, I can see that this type of problems are given in the lead code as well. So let's see. Uh, let's understand the problem statement. So don't worry if you are doing DSA for a good amount of time. Then this problem, if you aren't able to solve this problem, then then don't worry. So these type of problems are new in the lead code, and it will take some time to understand these type of problems. Now let's understand the problem. You are given a string word containing distinct lower case English letters. Distinct. Remember that distinct lower case English letters. In telephone keypad have keys mapped with distinct collections of lower case English letters, which can be used to form words by pushing them. So we have that Nokia phone, right? You remembered this is a Nokia phone. Think about this. And to press B, how many clicks we want to make? We will we will type two in two ways, right? To to get B. So to get C, we will type three times. Two is clicked three times to get C. It is allowed to remap the keys number two to nine to distinct collection of letters. And is saying that uh, let's not follow this order. We can remap it. This keys can be remapped to any amount of letters, but each letter must be mapped to exactly one key. Is saying that A can be mapped to six, but it should uh, map to only one integer. So if, if six A is mapped to six, then A cannot be mapped to any other letters you need to find the minimum number of times the keys will be pushed to type the string word so he will give he will give the word we we want to make number of clicks such that it should be minimum and we can remap it we can remap it into with the different integers we need to return the minimum number of pushes needed to type word after remapping the keys first we need to remap then we need to find the minimum number of pushes uh, so he is saying that note that one star this one star and zero and hash sorry uh, we do not map these letters so we have only eight characters one two three four five six seven eight so we have eight characters so think about it i think you have got it let's think about the solution so one two three try for five minutes so i think you have thought about it let's see let's see how we can solve that now we have a b c d e now if you see in the original in the uh, original phone we have a b c in it is mapped to 2 so if you want to click a it will take one step to click b it will take two for clicking three it will take three steps now we are given a b c so i will make i can uh, i can remap it to anything so i will make a b and c i will map with different integers if i map with different integers i a will take one click B will take one click, C will take one click, and D and D I map it to different integers, and it has to taking one click, so it will be five will be my answer. So if you see here, if you see here, so how many uh, different integers you can map, how many uh, unique characters you can map to different integers? Total we can map eight. So if we having word length, word length as eight, and there are no duplicates present here, all are unique. So if word length is eight. So directly I will say eight. If if it is less than or equals to eight, I can say that uh, this is my answer because I can map to every integer. I can map it to every integer because if I am getting a b c d e f g h, so I will map f here, g here, and h here. Suppose my x is exceeding eight. My x is exceeding eight. So we need two clicks. Two. We need two clicks. So I will start from two. I will I will keep in two. I will add. So let's see this example. If you see here, x, y, c, d, e. Uh, so here we have mapped. We can map x, y, c, d, e, f. These are mapped integers are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. F. We have f. We have g, and we have H, we have mapped to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Consider it's like two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So now for X, I now I I am getting I. So I will map I here and J here. 
so in this way i will try to map everything order by order order by order so if 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 my x is less than or equals to 8 so directly x will be my answer and till 16 till 16 8 to 16 it will be two clicks and from it is sorry 9 to 16 and from 17 to 24 it will be three clicks and for 25 and 26 it will be four clicks so it will be 1 2 3 and 4 uh, let's not think about hash maps or anything let's like simply write the logic with if else conditions so i think you have got it try to think about the solution part uh, coding part now i think you have tried for a couple of minutes let's see the coding part if you see here first we are calculating the size if my k is greater than 8 we are directly adding s is equals to s plus 8 because it will take one click and if it is less than 8 if it less than or equals to 8 we are adding k and the directly we are returning s now if my k is greater than 16 if my k is greater than 16 so there will be eight more characters right from 9 to 16 i will have eight more characters if if my k is 15 consider k is 15 15 minus 8 which is 7 seven characters need to click it twice so that's why we have make k minus 8 into 2 and we are returning s now if k is greater than 24 so from 17 to 24 i am going to have three clicks i am going to have three clicks that's why 8 into 3 suppose i have 22 22 so i will minus 22 minus 16 so i will get 6 so six characters will have three clicks six characters will have three clicks i am returning s if my k is equals to 24 I will add s equals to s plus four. If my k is equals twenty six, there are two characters, uh, two characters which we need to click four times, and directly we are returning s. So if you see this here, my uh, time complexity will be order of one, and my uh, we are not using any extra space. It will be order of one, my space complexity as well. So I think you have got it. So the first we have discussed the problem, then we have seen the approach. So if you couldn't able to understand, please do rewatch the video. so if you are if you understood please do like and if you are new to the channel please consider to subscribe and i have created a whatsapp community so there we are going to discuss the problems from the lead code so if you are interested you can join the community link i have given the community link in the description i will see you in the next video bye